I know how to do this. Damn, this is definitely his episode. There can only be one He's auditioning his neighbors. Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy who done get it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me. It's like a solar eclipse. Uh -oh. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Lee, and I'm some cool South African geek. Welcome to my channel. About to dive right into the third episode of Only Murderers in the Building. Getting real juicy and interesting. The most compelling part is Selena Gomez's character because she has a connection to the victim and the mystery. I know they're going to dive deeper into the other characters and show us their involvement, their secrets, because they did have secrets in the first episode. But the uh, bigger mystery is taking over the episodes now. So let's see what this one's all about. Let's dive right in. Tim is he about to get kicked out this episode? Is it Oscar? Are we going to see Oscar? Splash the musical? Damn, was this his last play? Did she leave him when he lost everything? Or he changed when he lost everything and she had to leave him? So he's rooted in trying to prove people wrong. Is he actually convinced of the story? How oh, well do you know your neighbors? Just throwing each neighbor? It's a text. <laughs> it's a generation issue. They close up because of age. But she's also hiding stuff, so. He's got 24 hours. What did he text? Aloha. Some artistic choices with the way this is framed and shot. Now he's talking about the hoodie guy. Damn, this is definitely his episode. He's auditioning his neighbors. What is happening? Pay your bills. How is this helping find the suspicious people? I don't think he killed her for a cat. He's the first sub suspect. I almost said subject. He's here to ask for money? Who's this woman? Dude is Mackin. Trying to steal Michael Scott's wife. <laughs> Saying that you can this flash go down terribly? That's probably how much he owes in rent. <sighs> what a butt. Damn it. His house is like a grandmother's house. I'm, so <laughs> I'm sure Evelyn. Dude has the TT. Barbara? Why is his nose bleeding? You think something he sees blood? What did he see in the fridge? Is that a frozen cat? Oh damn! What the fuck is happening? The, all he has is that milk. Can't he sell things from his apartment? Is, is the poster worth something? Damn, did they splat? God damn. So he's an investment problem now. Damn, that's why his wife left him. My career with the show. What the hell, but man? This show is so weird. Of you. Where's she going? Is this Oscar's dad? No, oh. the apartment is... It is Oscar's dad. I am under some He's using way. honesty to get swear an investment. How do the cops not find these shoes? Oh yeah, they think it's a suicide. She has so much more information that she could be sharing with the group. Sting. Sting doesn't like dogs. <laughs> what an awkward encounter. Or listens. Because he's a director, kid spot a murderer. So the murderer isn't in the building. 
end a podcast or I end you? Did they kill the dog? Or poison the dog? Damn. I see the one you know the <laughs> So now it's thing. I mean like Sting did say he hates dogs, but to then kill somebody else's dog for being too close to him, that's overreaching for the new subject, but it does make the show interesting. <laughs> and most thing, that can't be a bad thing for ratings and stuff like that. Also, this was a slower episode, but it was still interesting. You know what I'm saying? We're seeing it through the lens of a Broadway director, which was interesting. Seeing people audition to be the murderer. <laughs> so many stuff. We even saw um, Steve Carell's wife. <laughs> uh, Michael Scott's wife, I mean, not Steve Carell. Is Steve Carell married to that woman? I'm not even sure, honestly. <laughs> Uh, but another decent episode. I'm locked in. I have to see who the murderer is now. Tell me if you guys want to see more of these episodes. Deuces.